All right, so say like I had a very simple um, quadratic equation um, like this. Y equals um, x squared plus 4. So, um, you know, so the form would be ax squared plus bx plus c. My a is 1. My B is gone, and I have a C of 4, right? Um, so this counts. Um, now, if I want to solve this, what that really means is um, finding the roots, or finding where the parabola would cross the x-axis. So uh, over here on this parabola, here's a solution, and here's a solution. And one way to do that is just graph it and see where it crosses. Um, another way to do that is to set y equal to 0. Um, and um, because at at this point, at the x-axis, y is zero. Okay, so it's finding the values of x so that y is zero. So I could say uh, I could just rewrite this as x squared plus four equals zero. Um, now I could look at this as the um, um, so so basically, okay, I could keep working here and say x squared. So I'm subtracting 4 from both sides. x squared is negative 4. All right, and then I want to, you know, I have one last step to get x by itself. I square root both sides. Um, but the square root of a negative number um, doesn't really have any meaning. You know what? What squared is equal to a negative number? You know, if I do negative two times negative two, I get positive four. If I get two times two, I get uh, positive four as well. I can't multiply anything to get uh, by itself to get negative four. Uh, right. So this is a conundrum. Uh, now, the um, mathematicians have invented a a, a number which. Um, solves this problem, uh, and that's the number i, which means the square root of negative one. They just define it as the square root of negative one. That's called an imaginary number, and then you can, you know, then you can pr proceed on from there. Um, but this this equation would have no no real solution. No real, you know, there, you could have an imaginary number solution, but there's no real solution. Okay, so that's an example of of a quadratic equation with no solution. Now, what what would it actually look like if you graph it? So there's an easy there's an easy way to tell if a quadratic function or quadratic equation um, has no no real solution. So here's an example. Uh, so, so you graph the parabola that it forms. Um, here's an example. Sorry, this should say equals y. I meant to fix that. Um, um, y equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 2 is what this gra is graphing. You set it equal to 0 when you actually want to solve. Um, um, 3x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals uh, equals y. Uh, here's the graph of that. And it crosses the x-axis in, in two places. So there's two real solutions. I should say two real solutions. Um, here's an example of a graph with one real solution. It just touches the x-axis in one place. All right. Here is an example, another example of um, a quadratic function where there's no real solution, and you can see it doesn't cross or even touch the x-axis. Um, so the um, so there's no values of x, no real values of x for which y is equal to zero. You know, it just doesn't go down here. Um, so the, that's the easy way to tell just by graphing the function. See what it looks like. If it doesn't touch or cross through the x-axis, there's no real solution. Okay. So looking back at this one, um, y equals x squared plus 4. Uh, y equals x squared would just go like that. Y equals x squared plus 4 would, would be like that, where that point is, is 4. So you can see it doesn't, you know, it doesn't even skim the x-axis.